While I grew up in the church, it is service and mission projects that you could call the fish hook that caught my heart for both vocational ministry and um, for true Christian discipleship. And I love doing service projects with kids, youth, adults. I love it all. Um, We've been coloring cards at Connections for the Deacon's Farmer Lunches. My office smells like a a box of Irish Spring soap because both Connections and Youth Group Kids packed hygiene kits that will be shipped around the globe, mostly for refugees, which I'm thinking a lot about Israelis and Palestinians and people in conflict and Ukrainians and the people who've had to leave their homes with nothing, how these kits on my floor might be a blessing to them. A washcloth and toothbrush, a a comb and some soap and nail clippers, band-aids, and then toothpaste will be added later. In the next week or two, the Connection Kids are doing a project for our community helpers, our police, firefighters, and EMTs. Connection kid, um, excuse me, youth group kids are doing some projects for senior citizen shut-in members of various congregations. There's just lots going on. And while sometimes it feels like our service projects need to be bigger and better, they needs to be a week in Nashville, like we're doing this upcoming summer with our junior senior high kids, um, or it needs to be thousands of dollars. Sometimes it's as simple as a hundred wide tooth combs being sent to a place where people are devastated. Sometimes it's a bag of candy and a colored card by a kindergartner to remind you that even on the hard days, the work you're doing makes a difference. And sometimes it's as simple as a card colored by an eighth grader sent to someone in the care center to show them that they're loved and they're prayed for. Service and why I think it has caught my heart for all these years and why I hope to share my love of it with others makes a difference. So however God calls you to serve, whether it's through your vocation, through your time, through your gifts, financial gifts, or your prayers, um, I pray that God blesses you the way I've been blessed through both doing service and hope and planting seeds, inspiring others to serve in the way God calls them to serve.